This one's going to be on Fuzzy Finder Snippet, something I created inspired by, um, if you watched that video on Snippy, I did a long time ago. That one was um, using D menu and it didn't have like multiple tags and I couldn't really remember what I put in there. So this time around we have multiple tags and we're going to do this from the command line. Real easy. Same structure though. So one of them is for single line and another one's for multiple lines, right? So demonstrate this out here. So FCF snippet. This one's for single line. And I usually just put in like uh, quotes, links, uh, dumb images, memes, um, you know, anything you can think of, uh, you can put in here. And then let's say I search for my uh, Spartacus quotes here. So I do Spartacus and I'm going to search for Asher's quotes. Uh, usually it's this one here, right? I copy it to my clipboard and anytime I can paste it in here and you see it's a single line, copy that sucker and paste it. Let's do that again. Uh, let's say I want to copy, um, what's his name? Vintius. There you go. That's the one. Copies it to the clipboard and paste it real quick. So those two are for single line. If I want to do this for multiple lines, I do FCF multi snippet. And let's say I want to get my contact information. Bust that out. Paste this sucker. Look at that. Right. Real quick. Um, let's do that again. And let's say I want a picture of the penguin tux. Look at that. Paste it real quick. So that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, setting this sucker up. Not that hard. So the first one, um, this first alias here, this is for editing or adding in, um, you know, single line snippets. So I call this one uh, CFG snippet RC here. And basically in here, you can type in uh, or you can, you know, paste in any single line you want whatever it is, either code, links, images to, uh, or I mean links to images or whatever it is, right? Uh, so for example, I'm going to copy this, uh, I believe it's Homer Simpson quotes here. Copy this sucker. Um, just add in a new line here. So for example, copy that thing, paste in there. And at the end here, right, you can put space or tabs, whatever it is. You want to do a double um, semicolon. And that's your delimiter for uh, tags. So you can type in whatever you want after this. And it's not going to copy it to your clipboard. So you can do so Homer Simpson. Um, you know, quotes. And this one is like cartoon. Um, anything else? Or I put it stupid. If I spell it right. I'm stupid. Um, that's it. That's enough, man. All right. Save this sucker. And if you ever want to use that quote, let's say we get another quote here. Uh, snippet. Um, what else we got in here? All right. So let's say, for example, I, I have this bar uh, quote here. All right. Paste this sucker. It's already in my clipboard. Now, I've always used the uh, Homer Simpson quote. I can just do Homer. Search for Homer. Right. It finds it. But it doesn't save the tag when you ha you save it to your clipboard, so it only saves the quote only, right? So there's no tags after that or anything. Uh, so this is the quote that we got from there, real quick. So that's how that works. Now for multiple lines, um, you actually have to create this folder. So what's this folder here? It's right. Just create a folder uh, called multi snippet, and in here it's just a bunch of files really. So for example, we'll cut out my uh, contact information. Right, my contact is basically um, right here, but it deletes the first line. So the first line in this uh, or any file in here is going to be your tags. So you see, these are my uh, tags for um, if I wanted to get, you know, this um, contact information of mine. Uh, so let me give you an example of that here. It's multi snippet. So you see, like uh, right now, you see the name up here is my name and then contact. And then these are the tags, right? Basically, whatever's in the first line um, that we had in here. So these are the first line of all the tags. So that's what we're going to do in here. It's not that hard. Um, you can create one, or I, I use this one, or this alias called multi, uh, what is it? Multi, I spell it right. Multi snippet. And we just call it, give it a new name. So this one, we'll call this one Homer, or Homer Simpson, right? 
And in here, let's say we get an ASCII art of it. I have one over here already. ASCII art up here, right? I'm gonna copy this sucker. Copy it. And we're gonna paste it in here. So this is the ASCII art. Now the first line, this is your tag. So you can type in whatever you want in here. Uh, it doesn't matter because it's gonna be deleted in the first line anyways. So uh, oh no, type his whole name, Homer Simpson. Uh, with an axe, um, text art or whatever, killing mode, you know, whatever you want, like cartoon, right? It doesn't matter because this first line is going to get deleted once you copy to your clipboard. So it's just going to save the images or whatever it is you have in here. So we'll save that sucker and we'll run, um, let's copy something else so we can clear it out of there. So we'll copy this again, and let's say we want to do that tux uh, images, right? So right now we cleared it. Uh, you can see that if I paste in here, this is the picture of tux. But if we run it again, and let's say we want to have a, what was it, a Simpson, Homer Simpson here. Copy that sucker, and you see that it will paste the image, but it doesn't have any of the tags with it. So that's how I deal with tags, right? I mean, the tags will show up on the side here. But once you copy it, um, you know, to your clipboard, it's not going to have any tags. Same thing with the single line. They have tags, but it's not going to be uh, copied in. Anywho, that's really what, um, you know, this thing does here. So let me show you all the aliases, which I'll post in the description also. Uh, so this is the one that we used it to edit our single line, right? This one is to edit the multiple lines, which I didn't do, but you can do that later. Uh, this one is to create a new one, and these are the functions that we use with uh, our uh, fuzzy finder here. This is for multiples, right? Uh, if you combine this with tmux, you don't have to type it out, you know, like we did before. You don't have to type out any of these, um, you know, this thing here. You can just combine it with your uh, key binding. So I would usually do this, and I'll type in. For example, I want to copy this markdown thing here. Markdown, copy that to my clipboard. I would, uh, I think I have it in my other page, right? No, I didn't have it open. So let's say, for example, I open it with my um, surf raw. I'm gonna do what the hell is that one in here? And if I'm writing markdown, I don't remember what the fuck uh, how to uh, do images. I'll just paste this sucker in here, and I have my uh, snippets. And there you go. It gives me an example of wanting to edit or you know, change the images or whatever. So that's pretty much it for uh, using it with, uh, you know, Tmux. You just bind it to a hotkey and you're good to go. Like this one's for some multiple snippets. And delete all this, boom, real quick. Hopefully that makes sense. It probably makes sense if when I write this up, but that'll be it for this one with Fuzzy Finder and snippets.